Hello, my Minecraft family. Uh, today is not so much an episode as it is a how-to. So we are going to look at how to create a bee farm. Yes, that's right, a bee farm. And why do I want such a thing? Well, in 1.17, um, they made honeycombs pretty darn important. Because you need honeycomb now, one honeycomb to make one candle. And candles are so freaking cool, and I'm going to want to use them everywhere. So I'm going to need a lot of honeycomb. So I'm going to need a lot of bees, and I'm going to want this thing to be automated. Hello, welcome to my survival testing world. So in this world, we're going to do a block-by-block -block tutorial on how to build the expanded bee farm. Yes. So let's get started. So I've picked out an area in the plains here in my survival test world. So I am going to go ahead and make sure that I have at least a 20 by 15 area cleared, which this looks good. And then I'm going to choose where I want the front of my farm to be. So in this case, I think I'm going to put the front of my farm facing, I don't know, let's say the water. So I'm going to face in this direction. And then I'm going to say, where do I want to put the collection system? So in the build we're doing, I'm pretty much going to build it flat on top of uh, the current level. Uh, it's not the best looking, but um, it will be easiest for the tutorial to follow along. So you guys can uh, adapt it and make it look as pretty as you please. So I'm going to say this is where I'm going to put it. So put down my chest. Start with the collection system. Start with chests. And then inside of that chest, I'm going to shift click, put in a hopper. So I have a hopper going into that chest. On top of that hopper, I'm going to put a powered rail. So I'm going to put that there. Oh, sorry. In front of this, I'm going to put two block high, two solid blocks in front of that. Behind it, I'm going to put three blocks. One, two, three. Clear up some of this grass. Okay. On top of those three, I'm going to put regular rails. Then I'm going to go up two blocks. Put a regular rail. And then I'm going to go an additional eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I'm going to turn. I'm going to do six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to turn. And I'm going to do nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Turn again. And I'm going to do, I think, five here. So one, two, three, four, five. Five. Yep, and we come back around. So you should have a shape that looks like that. Okay, now we're going to fill in this entire rectangle with solid blocks. Just like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start from this rail we're going to count up four so this one being one two three four so we have right there so this row we're going to replace with a redstone block just like that and then we're going to take our regular rails and we're going to fill them in going up and circling back around and when we hit a redstone block, we're going to put a powered rail. And then we'll continue putting down regular rails. And then we'll make the curve, make a corner, and come back down. So we're going to snake it across. Come across a redstone block, put a powered rail. And come back to the end, circle around. And we'll do that all the way through.
And then on the very last block, corner block here, we're going to put a powered rail. And then we're also going to put a lever on the side of the block that that powered rail is sitting on. And we're going to flick it so it turns it on. And we're going to grab our solid block again, go to the other side of the block that the power rail is on, click on that, come up one. Just like so. So that should be your rail system. Okay. So this first power rail is not powered up, so that's a problem. So we need to get that powered as well as make it a unloading system for the hopper minecart. So in order to do that, we now need our comparator. And that comparator is going to go on this block right next to the hopper. But it's gonna be facing away from the hopper. So I'm gonna stand on that block, jump up and click and we have it set like so and then we're going to put a block in front of that comparator and then get our redstone torch and put the redstone torch on this block like so then we're going to put a block on top of that redstone torch and then we're going to put a block next to it and then another one off to the uh, top of the comparator. So you have this kind of structure. Now we're going to get our redstone dust and put one on top of each of these blocks that we just placed. And if you notice, the rail is now powered. That's exactly what we want. So come back to the front the block that's sitting next to the comparator. We're going to put a lever. So this is going to be our on-off switch. So if we flick that lever and we see that our redstone dust is off and our rail is off. So the minecart, when it gets there, will stop. So let's go ahead and get our minecart out and put our minecart on top of that powered rail. Now let's turn the system on and make sure that the minecart functions the way we expect. It should go all the way around, hit the end, come all the way back. It looks like it's doing it. So let's go ahead and turn the lever off. So when it gets back to the front here, it'll stop. All right, perfect. Okay, so that is the collection system. Not too bad. All right, now let's build the actual bee farm platform. So let's get ourselves a dirt block. Work our way up to the top of our collection system and then what we're going to do is we're going to put a dirt block on top of each rail so you can actually just take the dirt block and click on the rail and it'll put it right where we need it so I'm going to go ahead and click on each rail putting down a dirt block making sure that we click on each and every rail to fill it in And we want to make sure we don't leave this corner one. So even though that's on an angle, we still want one not there, but there. Okay? And we should have something that looks like this now. All right, very good. All right, now let's work our way up on top of the dirt layer get our dispensers out and we're gonna have to place dispensers all along the sides so we're gonna start with if we're facing the front we're gonna turn to the right and we're gonna start with the long side and what we're gonna do is shift and click to make sure that we have the dispenser facing upward now once you put the first one down, I find it easy to stand on that one. Shift 
and then click on the dirt block so you just go straight across so we're going to do that for the entire length of this side we're going to round the corner and we're going to put one down again on the dirt block round the corner do the opposite long side We're going to round the corner again. We're going to skip this block. And then we're going to put one down and go across. Alright. So, you should have something that looks like that with a dispenser going all the way around except this front corner block which we're going to skip. Okay, perfect. Now, I don't expect everybody to have a full set of beehives ready to go. So this is actually an evolving design uh, for the beehives. So you don't need all the beehives right away. So we're going to put a placeholder in. So we're going to use the uh, this dark oak plank. So what we're going to do is shift click on top of all these dispensers and put in our placeholder block for the beehives. Just like that. And then on this open corner here, we're actually going to put one down here. Like that. Okay. So, eventually these will all become beehives. But for now, we don't have them, so we can just put these blocks in. Alright, now we have to work our way around. And in survival, we probably have to build up a platform here so that you can place in your observers. So we now want to get our observers, and we're going to place an observer into each and every one of these temporary hive blocks, just like that. So we're going to go across each one and fill them all in. Just like that, until we come around to the open corner. Okay. So far, so good. Now we have to get some building blocks, solid building blocks in our redstone, because now we're going to wire up all of these observers to all of these dispensers. So when we do this, what we're going to do is we're going to start by skipping this one here. Skip the first one. So we're facing the front. We're at the collection part of the system. We're going to skip that first observer, and then the second one we're going to put a block on then skip, put a block on, then skip and put a block on. So you should have something like that alternating pattern. And we're going to round the corner here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to skip the first one, put a block on the next one, and continue that pattern all the way across the side. And then round the corner, do it again. Skip the first one, put a block on every other. Do it again, round the corner, skip the first one, put a block on every other. Just like that. So we kind of have this interesting pattern like that. Okay, so we should be back around the front. And now that we're back around the front, each observer that we put a block on, we're now going to put a block on the bottom side of that observer as well. So we'll click that. So we'll do that for each one. back around the front just like that okay fantastic we're doing great okay now what we're gonna do is on this first one that we just finished we're gonna put a block underneath it and then from that block we're going to come across the entire length of the side making sure we have a block under every observer that includes this one here so let's put one there we have something that looks like that. So let's come across the other side and do the same thing. So we're going to come down off of this block, come across to make sure we're under that observer, and then come across the full length of the side. Like so. 
All right, let's come across to the other side, do the same thing, come down one, and fill in the whole length. Make sure we have one under each observer. Come down one, and come across the entire length on the final side. Just like that. So you should have something like that. All right, so we're gonna come around the front again. And now across each of these blocks, we're gonna fill in a redstone. So we put a redstone dust there, and we're gonna put a redstone dust there. Okay, so we did that for every side. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to, where we have this redstone dust, we're gonna put a block. And then we're gonna put another block on top of that. And then you could remove this block here that we put in temporarily, or you can leave it, it's up to you. But I'm gonna remove it because it kind of creates a nice pattern with it missing. So once we do that, we can put a redstone dust on top of that. Now, for the one that is set up this way, we're gonna put a block on the bottom and put up a, put a redstone dust. So now we're gonna alternate. So now it's block, block, redstone dust. You can remove that temporary block. And then we come over to the one where we have a block covering the observer. We're gonna put a block at the bottom with a redstone. So one more time, we're gonna put a block here and a block on top, put the redstone dust down, remove that block. This one has one over the observer, so we're just gonna put one block on the bottom, put a redstone dust. So we have something that looks like that. If you didn't remove the temporary blocks, then you'd have a pattern that looks like that which is perfectly fine. Like I said, I kind of like the, uh, more of the, I guess the honeycomb pattern with those extra blocks removed. So that wires up that whole side. So we're gonna have to do the same thing for each side. So let's repeat the pattern. like that. So I'm going to do that for the other sides. And there we go. So every side is now completely wired up with the pattern that we showed you. All right, so we're doing good. Now everything's wired up. Everything should actually work in terms of redstone. So now what we need to do is give ourselves a way to get into this farm before we enclose the whole thing. So that's what this little break in the side here is gonna be for. So what I'm gonna do here is get myself a door. I prefer oak door. I'm gonna get some oak trap doors. Uh, you're gonna need your water bucket. And you're gonna need a sign, actually a few signs. I think you're gonna need three. And that should be it. Okay, so. The way we're gonna build this out, this gets a little tricky. So in survival, this, this may be very tricky, but uh, 
All right, so the way we're going to build this out is we're eventually going to put a water block right here, which is going to flow all over the place, which we don't want. So we're going to put a temporary block up there for right now. So let's put a temporary block in there. So that's going to re represent our water block. And let's go ahead and bring that all the way down. And then we're going to take a trap door and we're going to put a trap door in each one of those blocks. Like that. We can close them. And come on this side. We're going to put one in the top. And we're not going to... Oh, sorry. And we're going to put one up here. So we're going to leave these two for a door. So let's go ahead and remove these blocks. Come inside. Put a door. Like so. Okay. So now we got back inside again. And what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this temporary block. We can get our sign. And we're going to put a sign right on this second trapdoor. And I could put something like B access with an arrow pointing up. Like that. And we're going to put a sign over to the left on this block. Like that. So now when we put our water source in here, it, these signs will stop that water from coming down. So let's go ahead and break that block. And work our way up to the top. And we're going to put another whoa all right let's try to do this survival wise so let's work our way up and we're going to put another trap door shift click on this trap door close it just like that we'll come around the side put another trap door shift click on top of that one just like that and now we get our water bucket and we fill in this block Perfect. So we get rid of these temporary blocks. And now, if we notice, we open the door, we come in, we have this water above us. So we just jump into the water and bring ourselves all the way up. Just like that. Okay. So now we're going to grab a door. We're going to put one here. So this will give us access to the farm itself. And then we also want to close this off. So what I like to do is put in more trap doors actually in the proper direction. So I need to get on this side, put in a trap door here. And I'm going to put in another trap door. Like that. This is going to be a glass block eventually, so we don't need to seal that off. And then I'm going to come over here and bring the trap doors up as well. I'm going to put a trap door on this block. Shift click, bring the trap doors up to the top. Like that. Okay, so that is now our access point. So now we can get our glass and put a roof on this place. So get our glass blocks out. And I guess I'm going to start anywhere. So I could start here. So I put a glass block down and put one on top of each hive or hive placeholder. Just like that. Now I'm going to put a temporary block here. Actually, I'm not going to use glass. I'll use this. It's a temporary block here. Get my trap doors, put a trap door on that, seal the top, shift click, click on that trap door, close off the top. So this is fully enclosed now. Now go back to my glass, click on this temporary block to create an inside perimeter. And fill that all the way in. 
All right, so we're all filled in. And I need to make one note is off to these corners. In these two corners right here, this one here, uh, we need to put a glass block or some other solid block so that when the shear shears the um, hive or nest, that the honeycomb doesn't fly off into this empty space. So we have to make sure we go to each corner and fill that in. All right, get rid of our temporary block. And now we have a structure that looks like this. That's coming together. Okay, now let's get, uh, let's see, let's get our flowers because we're gonna have to put some flowers in there. So we'll get a whole bunch of our flowers use our access point and start putting down a whole bunch of flowers it could be pretty much I think any flower you want in here and it could be any color it could be any I think it could be too high as well and you don't have to fill it all you could uh, you know just put in as many as you'd like okay so that is it now for the hardest part of them all is to get a beehive and some bees. So, in your world, if you actually have a beehive that you're aware of, or bees nest, and it has bees in it, you're good to go. Uh, but if you can't find any bees, or uh, you could find a hive but no bees, I'll show you a trick to actually create a hive and some bees. Yep, that's right, you can create them. So this is the trick. If you are in a plains biome or a flower plains biome, right now I'm in a plains biome on this server, and you plant a sapling, a birch or oak sapling, it has a 5% chance of spawning with a hive with three bees in it already. If that sapling is planted within two blocks of a flower. That's right. So we're in a plains biome. We have flowers here, so I'm going to plant a birch tree. And let's go ahead and bone meal it up. And I have a 5% chance of it spawning with a beehive. So I will go ahead and do this and see if we get a beehive see how long it takes I've had it work within four tries and I've also had it work within 40 tries so what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep chopping it down keep bone mealing it until we get one and there it is we finally got one so this one took oh, I don't know I'd say this is probably another one of those 40 ones so I did about 40 trees, and I finally got my beehive. Okay, so now what I can do is I can build myself a staircase, temporary staircase, to get these bees to where I want them. So I'm going to grab a flower, because they'll be attracted to me when I have a flower in my hand. And let's see if I can get the get all three. I know he jumped in. Okay, so let's go ahead and climb up our temporary staircase. And let's go ahead and open up our trap door. Now we may actually have to get rid of these trap doors temporarily. Let's come down, open our door, come in. Let's see, can we get them to get in here? Come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Oh, come on, you can make it in. The other guy did. Come on. There we go. So now we have two, so that's exactly what we want. So I'm going to close this door. So with two of them in here now, we can start breeding them. So if I click on one with a flower, click on another with a flower, they'll breed. That's exactly what we want. All right, so they'll stay in here temporarily while they try to pollinate. But we're going to come out, and we have to go get a hive and bring a hive in here. So I'm going to close all this back up. going to make sure I can seal this off as well 
Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to go down and get that hive. But in order to get this, or actually nest, in order to get this nest, I need silk touch. So you use a silk touch tool to get this. And if there's a bee in there, which we know there still is one bee flying around, you're going to want a campfire. So you put a campfire underneath that nest. And then it'll be safe to grab without making the bees all mad. So you just put a campfire under there. And now I can move this with a silk touch. So let me get a, uh, I don't know, let's get an axe. And let's add silk touch to that. Okay, so now I've given myself silk touch on my axe. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this. So let's uh, make sure we're in survival mode just to show you that this is how it works. Okay, so now we're in survival mode. Here's a bee. So if I grab it, he'll get, he'll get mad at me. So I am going to use my silk touch tool. Go ahead and chop that down. Grab it. And there it is. I've got my bee's nest. So I'm going to bring that bee's nest up into my farm. Now these bees are going to want to get out as quickly as I open this door. See, they're ready. ready. See, I already chopped some. But they're not going to get, they can't go anywhere, which is fantastic. Because of the water. They don't like water. See, they don't like it. They're not going to go down. So let me get my flower back out, draw them back out, close that, and now I have a nest. So I can replace this temporary one with my nest. And I want it to be facing inward so that the opening, which is these two holes, is the front of the nest. I want that front to be facing inward. So there we go. So now I have a nest, I have some bees. This farm actually should start producing. So over time, what we will do is we'll breed up these bees. Over time, they'll produce honey. And we'll be able to get honeycomb from this single nest. From that honeycomb, we can create more nests and eventually fill all these temporary blocks in with nests. And come up here and breed the bees until it's fully saturated. And then once it's fully saturated, we have all the nests. We'll be looking at close to 800 honeycomb per daylight hour. And I say daylight because uh, bees, they don't like to work at night or in bad weather. So we have that kind of against us. So you can get up to 800 in a daylight hour. So that's where we are with that. So we went ahead and we created our own nest. We created three bees to start this whole farm off. So we're looking really good. All right, so what we need to do now is to make sure that the dispenser that's under this hive has a shear in it, or some shears. So let's get a shear, and let's put that into this dispenser. Now, as we fill the uh, temporary blocks, or as we replace the temporary hives with real hives, we're going to want to make sure we fill its dispenser with shears so that it'll actually shear when it's ready. And let's go ahead and turn this farm on and let the minecart roll. And basically we sit back and wait. So uh, it will take probably, I don't know, a Minecraft day, if not maybe a Minecraft day and a half for the first honeycomb to be produced from three bees. And once that's produced, then we can make another hive. And we'll sit here and just continue to evolve this farm until it's fully saturated. Well, that's pretty much it. That is a bee farm. So, make yourself all the honeycomb you want. Make all the candles you need, all the honeycomb block, everything. Just make it happen. Thank you for watching, and bye for now.